Okay. At the moment, I'm actually currently working on a summer house that is part of a template that you can download from Instant Craft Downloads on the web. It comes as a basic printout kit that you can print onto any cardboard you like. Now, to me, summer houses, generally speaking, are made of pine, and it's quite difficult to get paper that's printed up with a decent shiplap timber design on it. So I found a nice easy way using Tim Holtz Distress Inks in just three colours to create the pine effect. Here you can see I've already done the back. All that you need to do is get your Tim Holtz tool, a piece of card that in this instance is actually for the base, and just work a scattered straw all over the plain white card that you're working on. There's no need to actually get an absolutely perfect coverage. You're actually aiming for a mottled effect. And when I did this, I couldn't believe just how easy it was. There is a similar technique that's shown in one of the most recent craft stampers, either the June or July issue, or perhaps even the August issue for 2011. So you'd carry on working on it until you come up with something that looks somewhat like that. Then all you need to do is get a couple of pieces of post-it note. In this instance I've got two of the longer length ones. Um, I tend to use the longer length ones because you get a nice straight line and mask off the majority of what you're working on. Now, I've only got one tool and I don't want to have to keep mixing between the two and swapping over colours so the other two colours I'm using are frayed burlap and vintage photo and you pick one of the two colours dab it off a bit onto your craft mat and just work it along the edge of the post-it note to add a little bit more of a darker tone Then swap to your frayed burlap. It doesn't really matter which order you do this in. And just add a little more colour. Dirty it up if you like. That's the first plank. Move down. Try and keep your planks, as it were, similar spacing. And then go back to the vintage photo. Don't forget less is more. Sometimes you can add more. You certainly can't take it off if you add too much. But you're aiming for the, the worn look rather than the brand spanking new look. If you want the brand spanking new look, then that's good. Just keep working it. Move on to the next piece. Try and keep some definition. You don't want to go too much between the joints. And if that made sense, good for you. Next plank. Same thing, back to the frayed burlap. Now, one of the pieces in this actual kit is, well, two of the pieces I should say, are support pegs, support posts. And I couldn't really do the planking technique on this. I wanted something to look a little bit like wood grain. I didn't have a credit card to hand. I thought a credit card might have been a bit of overkill. I had a scrap square of card. And all I did was just dip the edge of the card into the vintage photo. And just very lightly run a couple of lines down. And it can it wobbles all over the place you get a little bit of definition but you can't see that too well in the video and I'm afraid I don't actually have a zoom on that but there you have it just a very simple basic way to create a timber effect I don't know if that will help but there you go easy done three colours a couple of post-it notes